Hello everyone, I'm back with another book review and today I'll be giving you a review of the book And the Mountains Echoed by Khalid Husseini. Well, this is a brilliant standalone book. Now, you can also download it uh, in the form of an audio book if you would like to listen to it and then read the book anyway, however you like it. Audio book of this book is also available. Well, this book uh, is basically a story of siblings. Uh, a story between siblings Abdullah and his sister Pari who are living in a village of Shadbagh with their father as well as their stepmother. Now their father Shabur is in, in a constant search for work, you know, because uh, he, he does one work, he loses it, then again he is uh, in search of another work. So together they actually struggle and they face poverty as well as the brutal winters. Now, talking about these siblings, Abdullah and Pari, Abdullah loved Pari so much because, not just because she was beautiful, but she was also a sweet-natured girl, just like her name, Pari, which means fairy. Abdullah will do anything for her, even when they used to sleep in their coat. They would sleep with so much of intimacy, you know, their heads are touching as well as their limbs, limbs tangled together. So there was a great bond of love between these two siblings. Uh, he would do anything for her. There's an instance in the novel that I would like to cite is uh, when he actually loses a pair of shoes or when he sacrifices his very loved pair of shoes uh, for a feather for, you know, because uh, Pari used to collect feathers. So for her treasured collection of feathers, he actually sacrifices or he actually gives away a pair of shoes that he possessed. So they both loved each other so much uh, that they did not realize of the fate or the impending danger that was actually awaiting them. They did not realize, you know, the sense of fate that would just tear their lives apart. Uh, they, would not, they were not actually ready for it and, and how it is sometimes said. Uh, that sometimes a finger must be cut to save a hand. Uh, so basically, uh, this is a story between two siblings, you know, who are crossing generations and continents. They move from Kabul to San Francisco to Paris uh, to the Greek island of Tinoz. So Khalid Huzaini is actually writing this novel with deep, uh, you know, with so much of depth, compassion, insight. Uh, he is writing this novel and trying to tell us how we actually help others, especially our loved ones, how love and, you know, our, our compulsion or the way how we help others to make some decisions and choices even shape our lives or whatever decisions or choices that we make, it resonates throughout the history. So basically, this novel is written to show us how we define ourselves, how our choices and decisions, or how others' choices and decisions, if we are a part of it, how it actually molds and shapes our life. Some people often surprise us with their behavior. You know, we often get surprised. Sometimes we show love, kindness, and truthfulness in a relationship, or it could be with our loved ones, you know. But we get an exactly opposite reaction from them. Sometimes uh, we often tell or we often say uh, that I did not expect such a behavior from the other person. So sometimes people may just totally surprise us. So this book is basically a novel, a story uh, that is taking place in Afghanistan and then moving to different continents uh, and even there is a, a swap of generations that is taking place. So. It is trying to convey us that how choices and decisions not only affect us but also some of the choices and decisions that we help or we are a helping hand you know in uh, in others life uh, can also influence our life and that would resonate uh, throughout the history so I do not want to give away the whole story of this book, but I, I will highly recommend you to read this book because this book is conveying a basic idea that no matter what nationality, what country or what heritage you bring with yourselves, ultimately family and that bond of love is the ultimate equalizer in humanity. So I would highly recommend you to read this book. It's a beautiful story. It would definitely pin your interest. Uh, go give it a read. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll be back in another episode with another book review. Till then, stay tuned.